This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. Since 2021, ACI Learning has won the EC Council Training Center of the Year Award for North America. This prestigious award highlights the best training centers around the world, making a positive impact on their students. Visit ACILearning.com and let ACI level up your IT team. Netflix used to say, here's a tweet from Netflix from 2017. Love is sharing a password. I took Netflix. Whoa. I know. I took I took Netflix. Whoa. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's only five years ago, six years ago. That's uh, not unreasonable to think that maybe they approved of it. God knows I'm paying enough for that, you know, multi-user, multi-streams thing. Netflix yeah. actually got in a little hot water because uh, it leaked out what they're, because uh, they've been trying this uh, internationally, but hadn't done anything about password sharing in the U.S., their potential plan uh, for password sharing leaked out this week to an internet furor. Um, it, this was on the uh, Help Center page. It said, uh, among, oh, now, now I have to get, now I've retracted it, by the way. It said, Netflix account is for people who live together in a single household. Mm -hmm. Right. People who do not live in your household, which my daughter does not, will need to use their own account. And then they furthermore said, we are going to require that they check into your locale at least once a month. Uh, what does check-in mean? Yeah, but yeah. do people have vacation homes and that's the problem? Or you <clears throat> travel? You know, well, I don't think they yeah. enforce that. So, so much for being a digital nomad. Yeah, right. Uh, the up update... To the plans was met with significant backlash. Apparently, a yep. number of people sufficient to scare Netflix because uh, by Thursday they responded and said, Oh, uh, that was an accident. We didn't. <laughs> For a brief time yesterday, a Help Center article containing information that is only applicable to Chile, Costa Rica, and Peru <laughs> went live in other countries. We, we've updated it. What have they got against those guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, screw, screw the them. Chileans. Yeah, yeah, screw the Chileans. Um, so in those countries, they've been testing something called page sharing, where if they notice that you're sharing your password, a thing pops up on the screen and says, oh, I see you're sharing. Well, you no problem, but you're going to have to pay an extra $2.99 uh, for that. Yeah. For have you ever added up how much you have you ever added up your streaming bill and oh, compared God. it to the old cable bill? Oh, I think it's, it's much worse more. than the old cable bill. Oh, it's much yeah. more. In fact, yeah. well, I mean, and this is all calculated. I gotta point out. First of all, the cable companies knew this was gonna happen. They've raised their internet rates gradually to the to the mm -hmm. point of nosebleed because they knew that people would still need internet if they're gonna cut the cord. And uh and meanwhile, the the cord cutting services have raised their rates. I uh I was gonna use YouTube TV right. until it got to 65 bucks a month for basic cable comp comparable to basic. And that's the same price. Plus now I pay yeah, for 20 bucks more for 4k. What's it like in the UK? Oh man. So it's, I would say it's, it's, it's not too bad in the UK. So obviously we sort of pay the compulsory um, BBC license. Fee, Still? Which is, Do they have little vans going oh, yeah. around town? Looking for unlicensed television sets. The fans, the the vans don't exist. The vans are a, a prop. They're prop. It, I was going to say propaganda. They're proper vanda. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the vans never have existed. Um, there never but, were those um, vans. EV, please. No, they've got no idea. You're in a block of flats. They've got no idea which one person in a block of flats. But it was propaganda the BBC or proper yeah. vanda oh, yeah, that the BBC promoted. That. Um, so we have that, we have, you know, Disney is not too expensive. You know, you pay sort of, I guess the equivalent of like 10 bucks for that sort of 15 bucks for Netflix. Um, the digital only version of sky, which is kind of the closest thing we've got to cable here is, is sort of 25 bucks. Maybe, um, what absolutely blew my mind is, um, I just subscribed to, um, American Hulu. For the upcoming, you know, March Madness. In America, the we just call that Hulu. 
Just so you know. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. No. But so there is. So there isn't a British Hulu. I subscribe to American Hulu. Okay. It was like sixty-five bucks a month, and I was like, "Sheesh!" Yeah. I'm oh never, yeah, for the you know. But that's because you're and getting. And all I do is watch one channel. I watch one. I, I watch streaming. ESPN, and that's it. It's the same you, thing as your Google TV, basically. Yeah. It's a it's a basic cable, basically. Yeah. They've just taken yeah. it over. Yeah. I've got Direct uh, TV. It's similar, yeah. You know. Right, but didn't Direct TV just lose the football? You know, yeah, I know. they I did. Football, they, I think Amazon has it now. No, yeah. no, Google, no, not Amazon. Google bought Google. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is that I've got all of those services, and that's why I don't have any money left at the end of the month. Yes. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. It's a uh, it's a leak in the in the bank account, a big hole in the really? bank. Really? No account. kidding. So I think Netflix might still go ahead with this, but it's good that they had such a uh, strong reaction to it that they had to say, "Oh no, that was Chile. That was Costa Rica." But in the meantime, they're cutting back on yeah. their production. You know, there are less original series coming out. Uh, I mean, I was watching a, sh a, a video, a podcast about this, a listening podcast yesterday about how Netflix is really trying to go on the cheap and they're not going to be investing in as much great content as they had in the past. So, I mean, they're just learning the more. really hard way that, you know, quality content costs lots and lots and lots and lots of money <laughs> and it's cheaper to make reality. And that's why, you know, cable went so heavily reality mm -hmm. and why Netflix was so refreshing because refreshing of all the premium content. But, right. and of course, you know, it's now nosedived in the wrong direction. But it seems like that's just sort of one of a number of tech companies this week that are all just having an absolute nightmare with sort of with money, right? Mm -hmm. Well, look at uh, Discovery, uh, Time Warner, whatever the hell. I can't keep track of it. But the yeah. <laughs> the owners of HBO uh, have basically uh, moved stuff off of HBO, selling it to Free TV and Tubi. Um, <gasps> it, it's Listen, it, Pluto TV. Pluto, yeah. Oh, Those are ad supported, we, so they have. They oh, have but the ads like every three minutes is a yeah. ten minute advertisement. It's yeah. horrible. Yeah, I mean, how much they inundate you with ads on some of those those channels. So is this? Well, you can guarantee that you can guarantee that that YouTube um, sixty bucks a month is going to be going up with a football because YouTube is down what eight percent this quarter yeah. in the Google earnings. So you're still going to get just to be clear. Don't mean to scare people. Next season, when it starts in August, you will still get your local football games. Those will be broadcast on broadcast television. But if you the DirecTV had this NFL Sunday ticket package where you right. could see all the games on a Sunday, and uh, they were paying a billion and a half dollars a year for it, it really was a money loser. The whole idea with DirecTV is, oh, you know, we'll get all these new subscribers and that'll make up the cost of this, and they just it just didn't pencil out. Uh, it was so, also a terrible experience. That Sunday ticket, the way that they framed everything, was just like was awful to watch. Really? How do you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, uh, are you getting American Hulu again? <laughs> I, uh, you know, sometimes you stay in the U.S. and you see these things on a Sunday, you know. So YouTube, when I'm located in a hotel in New York, YouTube got a seven-year deal, more than or a little more than two billion dollars a season. Two billion dollars a season, which is less than the NFL wanted. They wanted two and a half. Uh, but seven years, that's a good deal. And why would YouTube do it? Because you will have to pay extra. So they will have subscriptions. And they're hoping that what it'll do is drive new users to YouTube TV, which is, I mean, to be fair, is a pretty good system. I like YouTube TV a lot. And then that they'll have the upsell. They do a lot of upselling on YouTube TV, by the way. You can get HBO and Showtime and everything, but you have to pay extra. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, Sunday tickets starting in the, in the late summer will now be on YouTube.